Hi, welcome to the Power Leads Pro demo. Um, in this demo, I'm just going to demonstrate um, two of the sources you get with the full suite edition, and that's going to be Craigslist and Google Maps. Um, I'd really love to show you uh, every source that we have, but it, it would literally take um, a, a tremendous amount of time, um, a lot of time to go over and cover everything that this software can do. So I'm just going to try to touch on the main points for you. Um, this software will allow you to find and target um, virtually any niche um, within Craigslist, and this is for Craigslist source only right now. So it, suppose you wanted to send out an iPhone offer, um, and you wanted to send them out to the Craigslist source, you'd simply type in your keyword, which is iPhone, select wanted, um, select the locations, and again, this has every location um, that is used in Craigslist, inc including international countries and cities. Um, you can select the interval range. I'm just going to go seven days back for this. And then I'm going to click search. And as you can see, we already pulled up 60, 70, 80, up to 100, 125. It's going to go on and on and on. It's going to get all the ads for people looking for an iPhone. And what you can now do, I'm going to go ahead and stop it. I'm already up to 300 and something, 326 listings. And all these listings have emails that you can um, virtually send your offer to. So the type of information that you get within the listing here is you get, uh, when you click on the listing, we have a built-in browser. So you can see the listing itself. You're also going to get phone numbers if there's one posted um, within the ad itself. Um, and aside from the Craigslist emails, you're also going to get the snail mail email. So if there's a, an email um, listed within the ad, it's going to pull that as well. And you would basically select with emails. So once you have all these leads uh, selected, you can just click on the send button and send um, an email to 326 listings, you know, right before your eyes. Really, it's really that simple. And you can do this if you offer uh, if you offer SEO services or web design. You can go into services and jobs, and you know, virtually pull up thousands and thousands of ads and contact all these people um, with the single click of a mouse. You know, all on virtually, it's autopilot. You just set it up, click it, and forget about it. And you know, as you're going about your day. These emails are getting sent out, and it's you know you, you would never be able to do um, the amount of work this software can do in virtually just minutes. Um, so that's a quick overview of how Craigslist works. You can search any different type of subcategory. You know, in real estate, you can search real estate by owner, broker, and wanted. It even breaks it down a step further for you. And I'm going to go ahead now and continue on to Google Maps. And I'm going to select Google Maps from the sources here. And I'm going to type in a keyword Dentist San Diego. Let's just do Dentist San Diego for now. Let me clear these out. And let's see, okay. Let's see, select, delete. Okay, these listings are gone. Go ahead and hit search. And as it's searching, I'm going to get into um, some of the emailing features. You would click on Edit Email. And you would add your SMTP email account. And you can add accounts from um, Yahoo, AOL, Gmail. You can add your own SMTP server um, if you would wish. You could just type in your email address. Um, you type in the sender name, so the name you want to appear um, on that other person's inbox. You can type in whatever you want here. Um, and you just add in your, your SMTP info. And you can add as many accounts as you like. So after you have an account added, you would then select how, uh, how many emails you want to go out per hour per account. You can set it to any number you want, 10, 20, 100 emails an hour. It's totally up to you, and this is totally on autopilot. Next, you would select the email text tag, and what this takes you to is the email message templates. Um, you have a choice between using an HTML email or sending email as a plain text. When you do uh, uh, HTML email, you have the ability to hyperlink um, images, text, add images, change fonts, sizes, 
um, align, all that different um, snazzy stuff. You can also add as many templates as you want. And if you have five different templates selected and send out five emails, um, they'll rotate between every email sent. Um, meaning um, email number one will go to listing one, email number two, listing two, email number three, listing three, and so on and so forth. If you send out a thousand emails, the same thing happens. They'll rotate between every um, email that is sent out. Um, in addition to that, you can also spin the text within the subject line and spin the text within the body of the message. And you can also add tokens. Tokens are merely um, placeholders that get replaced with real data from the listing. I'm going to exit out of here for a second. So if you use the token for headline and you're sending an email out to this business, it's going to get replaced with the business name in the email when it's sent. Again, it's automatically, you don't have to do it. You can use tokens for address and city and um, page number and position for Google Maps. So when you enter and use tokens in your emails, they're going to look much more personal and it's going to look like it really came from you and you, you spent the time to research that business. And in reality, you didn't spend any time because the software did everything for you. I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. And as you can see, the information that gets pulled up into the software includes, again, the business name, address, city, zip code, phone number. You get emails from the listing page and emails from um, the website. You get their... Um, domain uh, URL so you actually get the the actual business domain itself and you get um, the page number it's listed on in Google Maps the position of that business um, if the business has been verified or not and this is another big one because you know you can find businesses that are unverified and these people have nobody probably doing their um, their marketing for them so this is just a a calling card for you to contact these people and offer um, your services to them. It also tells you the number of citations this map uh, listing has, the categories, where the reviews are coming from, the photos and videos that are on that Google Maps page. And if you find listings with no videos and you know how to make videos, I mean, this is just another service that you can add on um, to your repertoire and uh, target these businesses with. And you also get the average rating um, of the reviews that were left by customers. And this is pretty important because it'll give you a sense of maybe how their customer service is or what type of business owner they have and, and stuff like that. And as you can see here, where it's pulling up more information now, I hit analyze domains just a second ago. And the type of info that gets pulled up is the keywords. You also get the organic position, um, you get the H1 tags, you get meta description, you get the amount of backlinks are going back to their site, and you also get if they have a Facebook, Twitter, or a LinkedIn profile, and it also tells you the amount of, um, of Facebook, Twitter, and uh, KML files that have been indexed within Google. And again, this is just more data that you can use to your advantage when you're contacting these businesses. It, it's just giving you ammunition. Um, if you want to uh, do this virtually totally on autopilot, you would rather export this data to a sales page that the software creates for you or export it to a report. Um, I'm going to go ahead and export these to an HTML report. And I'm going to go export to sales page. I'm going to do both. And then I'm going to show you the type of info that you get. When you export to a report, you're going to get information such as, I'm going to show you here. Okay, this is broken down into a report now. So this gives you a full overview of that business. So even if you have existing clients, this makes it so simple to, to punch in the amount of backlinks they have, if they have a KML file, um, if, if they're, you're getting citations for them. And this is something that you can send um, to a business. So if you, you, you tell businesses that you're doing a, uh, a free 
um, a free analysis of their domain, you know, you'll do a free analysis for them, you know, at no cost. They're going to think you're putting in hours of work. To, and this is literally two seconds and you, you have a full report of their business that you can send them. So again, it's just more factual data uh, that you can provide uh, to your, your client. And when you export to a sales page, I'm going to show you what this template looks like. Um, this is a regular HTML page. You can put videos, you can do whatever you want. It's, it's a normal HTML file, um, the same type of file that is used um, for a website. And as you can see, I have um, the tokens that get used, and this is what happens when you use tokens. I have a token for the headline, and that gets replaced with the business name. I have a token for address, um, token for email, position, and page number. So you can create as many unique sales pages as you'd like. And then once you create um, and have these sales pages, you can upload them um, directly to your server via FTP. As you can see here, you'd enter in your FTP information, and then you can uh, upload all that uh, snazzy stuff to your server and send them out in the emails if you wish. Um, you also have the ability to add um, proxies if you'd like. You can also um, remove duplicate emails and duplicate businesses. Um, you can match keywords or ignore certain keywords. So if you're trying to find roofing um, contractors and you're finding roofing supplies, you can just type in the word supplies here and filter out those listings so you get even much more laser targeted results. Um, there's just so many different um, things that you can do with this. It, it can probably be overwhelming. Um, and the, one of the best parts about this is suppose you, you go away on weekends or you go on vacation, you know, this software can still run um, on autopilot for you. You would uh, type in your keyword as you see here. Okay, you would select your source, select the locations that you want to search, and you would click on, you would set schedule after you have the time that you want to search, and you would set the days of the week you want this software to run. So after you have that done, you click on OK, and then that's it. Now it says clear scheduler, which means the scheduler has been set. So what happens now is at this time on those days of the week, the software will run and find and extract listings until there are no more. It'll extract every listing possible. And then once it's done, it will select all the listings with emails, and then it will send, and it'll send your, your emails out automatically for you. So even if you're on vacation, you can have this software running, doing the work for you. Um, and it, it's just a tremendous capability that no other software has on the market. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this short video demo. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me anytime you like. I hope to see you on the inside.